Hey guys, it's Angela. Hey, so now you've gotten your lashes and you're thinking, what in the heck, how do I use these? So I wanted to take a little bit of your time today and show you exactly what I do when my new lashes come in the mail. So these are a brand new set of ladies night lashes and this is how they come. Now, when you get your package, you will also get a sheet of instructions that kind of walk you through what to do, but I think it's a little easier if you just get a chance to watch a video. So, okay, now you've gotten your lashes, and with your lashes, you also received lash liner. It looks like this. This is our magnitude liner. It's magnetic, and these lashes, when you open up your box, if you check the underside of the lash, there are mm, five or six um, little tiny magnets, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them in this mirror or not. Um, yep, they kind of shimmer right there, okay? So you've got some, some, some magnets on the back. So the very first thing that you wanna do is measure your eye to the lash, okay? So in the mirror, take your lash and hold it right over your lashes. Now, my my eye, sorry, I've got some makeup. My eye does not have, if you look close, does not have a lot of lash right here. Most of the bulk of my lash starts about three quarters of the way in from the corner of my eye. Okay, so that's where I want this lash, this kind of set to start because I want my lashes to look somewhat normal, especially if you're wearing the nine to five lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up just about there. Okay, and then I notice, look at all the excess right in here that needs to be trimmed, okay? The great thing about Tori Bell is that there are magnets on all sides. With the ladies night especially, I don't wanna trim on the inside of this because it's smaller than the outside. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna trim from the back. So you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna, I'm not actually gonna trim this one because these are for resale and I already have some for me that are already trimmed, okay? So the excess, let's measure again. So the excess of mine is probably about two. Let me hold it in the light. One, this would be one, okay? And this would be two. And I wanna get it close to the magnet, as close to the magnet on the back as possible, okay? If that makes sense. So I'm gonna pull up, you guys, I totally lied. These are selfie lashes, not ladies night, sorry. Okay, so these lashes are my actual set that I wear. And if you look at them, you can see the difference in the length, the width of the actual lash. But if you look close, oh my gosh, this is hard. Can you see those? That's how much I cut off, okay? And if you look, they would fit just like that. This one's a little wonky. You can't, so when I show you how to apply the liner, you'll be able to tell how it works, okay? So that's the first step. The second step would be to take your liner. Now, I understand that a lot of people are not familiar with using um, liquid liner. So if it is more convenient and easier for you to get a straight line, feel free to use um, just a pencil liner over the top. Okay, so I'm going to take my trusty, I'll, take, I'll face this direction. You're going to take your liner. It is, it is a little goopy and it's a little thick way thicker than normal liner, okay? So this is what the wand looks like. You don't wanna dab a lot around the edges because it tends to get a little goopy with the, the formula of the liner, okay? So you're gonna take it, and some people pull their eye this way gently to get a straight line. I tend to wanna see what the line's gonna look like with my eye open, okay? So it's gonna be difficult for you to see, but I usually start in the middle
and draw it down that way. And it's okay if it gets a little bit on your lash, just pull it off, okay? Now, you're gonna do one coat and then you're gonna let it sit for two minutes. Okay, so while we're talk while I'm talking, I'm just gonna let it sit there. A couple tips about the eyeliner. Um, it, it does need to be a little thicker than you would normally have it because you want something for the magnets of the lash to adhere to. Okay, so that's really important. Um, and then I try to get it as close to my eye as possible. Oh my gosh, the greasing of my makeup. Um, as close to the lash line as possible. If you are a makeup artist and a beauty queen, you can do whatever you want with the whole liner of your lash, okay? So it's totally up to you. So we're gonna pretend that that's set for two minutes. It's probably more like one. Then we're gonna go over and we're gonna do another set, another, not a set, uh, pass over of the liner, okay? This time you can see that I went a little too thick which is why I usually start in the middle. So I'm gonna try and thin out that little area. Okay? You don't need a whole bunch, you guys. Don't You don't want it super goopy, okay? And you wanna make sure you go all the way down. See, I got it on my lash. My lashes are so, sorta of long. Okay, you want to go all the way down because you want that lash to have something to stick to. Okay, so that's the liner. And it doesn't look too bad. My eyes are not, my lashes are not typically that dark, but people freak out about the black liner and it's okay. It is okay. Okay, so we're just gonna fan that for a hot minute. Fan, 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 dry, dry, dry. All right. They're not, I hate to put them on when they're not fully dry. You wanna make sure the liner is dry, okay? I have oily eyes also, like I have combination skin, so I'm really dry out here, but I'm really oily in through here, okay? So I don't put on, I learned, <laughs> through trial and error, that I don't wear um, eye uh, cream during the day anymore, okay? I do that, I lather it all at night and I sleep with it and then I get up and I just rinse it off. I don't put a lot of product on my face in the morning anymore because it was inhibiting my lashes from sticking, okay? So they're probably pretty much dry. So I'm gonna take my lash, remember small corner goes on the inside, big goes on the outside. Remember also that these are the selfies, so they're a little dramatic. Okay, ready? I do not have a mirror. Hold on. I don't think they, they clipped in. So that's, <laughs> we're almost there. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Okay, like I said, these are super dramatic. I would not typically wear these, like, unless I was going, I did wear them yesterday for fun, but typically it's like, if I'm going to an event or a wedding or something and I just wanna be fun, I would wear these, okay? But these are my nine to five lashes. And we're gonna put these on today. These are a little bit more um, like your natural lash and I'm gonna show you on here you can't see Ugh. there is on the edge of this a little bit of the eyeliner that came off the last time I wore them so you just take my I just take my fingernail and I gently clean it off you want to make sure they're clean before you put them on there okay and
those are my nine to fives. All right, I hope this helps. Please DM me if you have any questions. Um, and I hope that I covered everything. And if, like I said, if you need anything, um, you can go to angelasglambag.net and you can also find me on Facebook, Angela's Glambag. All right, have a great day. Bye guys.